Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys another watch. And this is by a company called Sterling. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, you'll see the bulk of my videos uh, that if you were to look at collectively how many videos I have of different brands on my channel. I have well over 600 videos on my channel right now. And we're almost going to crack 10,000 subscribers. And it's been a lot of fun sharing with you guys. Uh, all these different products that I'm able to get my hands on, whether it be that I buy them because I want to purchase them, or I reach out to companies, you know, uh, for products to share on my channel. And generally, when I reach out to a company, it's a product that I'm looking to integrate uh, with the idea of featuring them in a video. So a lot of times, you know, you'll notice this year I've had a lot of smart home stuff. That I've done a lot of these smart home tours, uh, showing you guys what you can do with technology, uh, not only to automate your life, but just get that cool factor. And that's really why we do things. I mean, uh, really. You know, there's no smart switch that's really going to, a smart socket that's really going to change your life, you know. But it's cool, especially when you own a home or you're, let's say you have an apartment. It's great to be able to have, you know, that ambient light or, for instance, I just put in my hot tub, be able to, you know, turn that, you know, the, the outdoor lighting on remotely with my voice uh, just by bringing products into the mix like, like the uh, wireless uh, or battery-powered docking station for the Google Home or the, or the, Amazon Echo. So it's pretty cool to be able to get this stuff to share with you guys. And I love it when I get a watch to share with you guys. And you'll notice that watches lately, I haven't been doing a lot of video reviews on watches because, you know, I haven't really been getting a lot of watches. You know, I've reached out to hundreds and hundreds of companies and not all the time do they want to send you products. Sometimes they're just not interested or they're already well established. So I always kind of target the micro brands. And uh, some companies I come back to and I work with over and over again. Sterling happens to be one of them. Uh, Invicta, Unfortunately, Invicta, any Invicta that I've ever shared with you guys is uh, is ones that I've purchased. Uh, you know, I, I don't have any agreement with them. I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody to get an agreement with them. And, you know, I think that it's, they're such a big company. Uh, you know, sometimes you, just, you, sometimes you just get lucky and you contact the right person. And just like uh, my, my guy over at Sterling, uh, I reach out to him when I see a watch that I want to put on the channel. And if it's something, uh, you know, he's interested in or the timing's right, then they send it to me. And so... Uh, when I reached out to them recently, they were nice enough to send me that, which I've done a review on that before. Uh, I wish I could get a link for you guys. I don't know where it's sold. So I emailed him, but he didn't get back to me. So I'll try emailing him again. That is a sterling wall clock. Um, it's awesome. It's a great addition for any watch collector. Um, it's nice when companies make stuff like that because if you're really passionate about watches, it's pretty cool to have that in my office where I do all my business when it comes to watches. So uh, the other watch they sent me was this one right here. The Regatta 893. And this is a beautiful watch. I previously reviewed this one before, but I wanted to review it again just to, you know, show you guys, and uh, you know, not only the watch, but tell you guys what I think of it. Um, now, I did put a scratch in this the other day on the polish side. And some folks will say that, you know, if you look at across the brands, that some are going to scratch easier or, or a better watch that don't scratch. It's absurd. Uh, if it's made of stainless steel and it's polished, it will scratch. That's the nature of 316 L stainless steel. It's what they pretty much use on all watches. And if you're really concerned with scratching a watch, then you don't buy a polished watch, any polish whatsoever. And if you if you're not worried about it, then you know you just it's something you just live with. You put your wrist down, it's gonna scratch. You know, I mean, you, you I have a glass desk. You know, I mean, my hot tub. I wear it in the hot tub. It's kind of abrasive. You know, I mean, I, I don't think that's actually where this one came from though. But I think it came from the button inside my jacket. So. Um, you know, I just wanted to put that out there because just because a watch may get a little bit of wear and tear, it doesn't mean that it's inferior materials. Remember, most watches out there are made of 316L stainless steel. Uh, now, there are differences in plating, uh, so if you're concerned with that, I always recommend if you're really concerned with plating, although I've never had any issues with any of my watches, if it is something that's going to really, you know, dissuade you from trying a brand, just get a, pol just get a stainless steel watch. Uh, so, all right, so let's talk about this watch again. Regatta 893. This was powered by a Miota automatic movement. I love that Sterling's actually using, uh, looks like they're kind of outsourcing a little bit now. Previously, they were always wear, uh, putting their own in-house movements in a lot of their watches, and they still do. But it's kind of nice that they're, you know, uh, trying to provide some of these dive watches at a really competitive price point, which are what I would consider to be your Rolex Submariner homage watch. Very, very similar as far as the, uh, the style of the hands and your Cyclops, the overall design of the watch is very, very similar to what you'd find in a, a Rolex Submariner. 
Um, I opted to go with this burnt orange bezel uh, with the black face. It's very different than anything else I have. And orange is always kind of known for, uh, you know, being divers related. So, uh, and I, first orange watch I ever saw was some of the ones by Doxa. And I, unfortunately, they're not interested in collaborating, but they make a fantastic looking watch. And I really wish I could get my hands on one of those. But nonetheless, I love that Sterling has done this watch with that burnt orange. Now, this is available in four different models. You can get this one in the burnt orange bezel, uh, the black on black, blue on blue, and then, of course, the red bezel with the black face. Uh, they've done the Cristerna Exhibition Screwdown Case Back, showing that Miyota movement. No uh, fancy finishing, finishing on the movement. It's pretty much a off-the-shelf Miyota movement. Uh, they didn't do anything to you know, give it their own sterling flair. They threw it in a watch. And so I think this is a great watch. You can get this for about 200 bucks. Uh, if you're not interested in getting it in the automatic, you can get it in a quartz version for about $99. So that's a really great price. Very competitive with a lot of other watches out there. I mean, I always tell folks, you know, like when you're looking for a watch, whether you like Invicta, whether you like Aragon or Rolex, whatever you want, you know, everybody's going to have a different style. Some folks don't want to have a big, giant, huge, ma masculine watch on the wrist. They want something, you know, a little more subdued, just basic. And, you know, the, the design of the Rolex watch is, is iconic. It's been around for a very long time. And the Submariner is just, it's one of the most duplicated or replicated uh, watches uh, ever made. And there's a reason for that. You know, obviously people like that simplistic, basic design. And I think they've done a great job in duplicating this with this watch at a fraction of the cost. Um, when you have watches like this of this quality and this design and styling and this look, I don't see the point of why you'd ever buy a really high-end watch like Rolex or a luxury watch. So I'm not going to say high-end because high-end, high-end, uh, you know, high-end is like saying that, well, this is low-end then. High-end is almost like, high-end isn't really correct in saying it. It's a luxury brand. You're buying it for the fact it's handmade and you're buying it for the fact that it's a Rolex and that you're when you're wearing it, you know you spent, you know, eight to $10,000 for that watch, uh, whereas it's a status symbol. Whereas, you know, Everybody can own a watch like this. That's what's great about it, you know? It's affordable for everyone. And if you're in the market for a watch, I definitely encourage you to check out Sterling. You know, uh, Sterling has been, um, you know, always known for their dressy, skeletonized uh, dress style watches. And so they recently came out with some of these diver watches. They're called their Aqua Diver series. And so I think it's a really great idea because you know, not everybody wants that fancy skeletonized look. And it's a great way to branch off uh, to kind of appeal a different kind of buyer. You know, this is just a basic Rolex style dress watch, or, you know, dive watch. And I think they've done a great job in everything they've done with this watch, and I absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, it really goes well with the clock. And this watch right here, um, I've already done a video on this one here, but I encourage you to check it out. But this is their Sterling, um, if I can get it on here, hang on, let's flip the camera around. This is their Sterling Original wall clock. You see it's got that sweeping hands. Um, you have all the gears inside here, which is actually powered by, I believe it's a two C-cell batteries. And you can see those gears are all moving. It's not an automatic clock, but it gives the appearance that it is. And I think it's absolutely great addition to my office. Done that kind of gold color, uh, like that burnt gold color and uh, almost, like a, almost like a copper, sort of. Very decorative Roman numerals and the hands. I mean, it's just a really great addition to the wall. And I've been trying to find a link to uh, where you can buy that. I don't know if, you know, Sterling has done clocks before, but I just don't know where you can even buy this. I saw this, uh, I think it was Tim Temple was reviewing it online, and I said, man, i got to have that. So I reached out to them, and I think it was only about $69, which is really pretty cheap uh, for what you're getting. And I don't know, I'm, I'm still looking for the link. If I can find it, I'll share it with you guys so you can make a purchase. I've had lots of people say, hey, where do you get that? Uh, for some of you watch collectors out there who watch my channel, uh, it's a great addition. So, all right, so uh, I forgot to mention, last time I reviewed this watch, I have a 7-inch wrist. Uh, so this watch is a 42 millimeter watch. So naturally, even on a 7-inch wrist, it still doesn't look like a small watch. If you're desensitized by wearing the gigantic Invicta dive watches, and naturally this is going to be a little small for you. But it's nice to be able to sometimes wear, you know, I don't always wear the big watches, but I always wear a watch. And so I've been wearing some of my uh, homage dive watches lately when I'm, you know, in the backyard, uh, getting in the hot tub. When I, when I go to bed, I always like to wear a watch. Uh, I just, I feel naked without a watch on my wrist. So, 
It's, uh, it's, you know, I don't always want to wear it. I don't want to wear it if I'm going to bed a gigantic Sea Hunter 3. Uh, it's a little uncomfortable, right? Uh, but going to bed, I want something that's going to be lightweight, still be able to tell time, not have to worry about the battery. Uh, it's, it's great. It's a fantastic watch. I'll put a link in the description, folks, where you can pick this up. 200 bucks gets this to your house right off the Sterling website. I'll also put a link to where you can pick this up through Amazon and eBay. I believe Sterling has an Amazon store. I think they sell direct on there as well. Uh, anytime you guys click the links, as I've told you guys from day one, whenever I review a product and you guys click the links and make that purchase, it does help to support the channel. That's kind of why I do what I do. Uh, not just to share with you guys, you know, uh, you know these products, but I would like to make this, you know, my full-time gig someday. Uh, but right now, you know, it takes a lot of work, and I've been going for a very long time, uh, pumping out reviews and 600 videos, you know. And sometimes, uh, you know, I, I'll just keep keep going. So more subscribers, the merrier. More products I can get my hands on, more I can share with you guys. And you know, you guys, if you have requests, sometimes you guys will request, you know, hey, can you review this or review that? Um, you know, I only review what I have, you know, with Aragon, it's totally different because Aragon, I have an agreement with them, uh, whereas I get to review their products, they send them to me, I review them, I send them back with the prepaid label, and if it's something I want to keep, they give me a wholesale price. And so I'm actually looking to eventually create an Amazon or a Aragon web store. Uh, that's down the pike there. I need to review all the watches first before they will agree to give me wholesale pricing on all their watches. Uh, so that's coming down the pike. Of course, I will get my ass out of gear and, and get that done eventually. But if you if there is an Aragon watch that you like, and you you know I don't normally take requests because I just can't get some things. But uh, Aragon totally different store. If there's one you like, you want to see, let me know what it is. I'll get my hands on it, and within you know a maximum month, I'll have that reviewed for you guys. So all right, folks. Well, thank you very much for watching. As always, it's been a pleasure sharing all this stuff and videos with you guys. Thank you for your support and subscribing to my channel. Uh, we're going to almost break 10,000 subscribers. It's amazing. I can't believe uh, it's at that point. Uh, yeah, I would love to be able to get that plaque that you get from YouTube if you get 100,000. Uh, but, man, that's a, that's a long ways to go. So uh, just keep watching. Stay tuned. I do appreciate it when you guys let me know if you make a purchase. And, you know, whenever you make a purchase through Amazon or eBay, it doesn't matter what you buy. If you found my video uh, helpful and enjoyable and you want to support the channel uh, or, you know, support my, my purpose on here, my cause, uh, then click the link. Whenever you click that link, it takes you to eBay. And no matter what you buy, it does give me a kickback commission on your purchase and it helps to uh, you know, buy more watches, more smart tech stuff, and as always, share it with you guys. So I do appreciate you doing that. If that's not something you want to do, you don't feel like helping me out, that's okay too. I appreciate you watching the videos and let me know what you guys think. All right, folks, once again, thank you for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. Take care.